Okay, today's lesson is 4.2, multiplying fractions. And probably this is review. I think you've multiplied fractions before. I just want to review some of the, the concepts of what, what a fraction is. And if you understand well what a fraction is, then you'll know how to multiply uh, fractions and divide fractions and add and subtract them, etc. So here is the number one, and we're using this length of this uh, this bar here basically to represent the number one. So there's one, and if we were to divide one by four, well, sometimes we write it like that, right? But sometimes we write just with like a, a bar, right? One divided by four or one over four like that. And these both mean division, and it looks like a fraction because that's really what a fraction is. A fraction is just dividing the numerator by the denominator. denominator. So if we were to divide this one into four, that's one divided by four, we would get four pieces, the same size, four equal pieces that are each one fourth. So this means that one divided by four equals one fourth, right? One divided by four equals one fourth. Okay, so now let's see what happens if we were to take um, half of each of these pieces. How many pieces would we have? So basically we're, we're multiplying one half times one fourth. And uh, multiplication can replace the word of. If I say what's half of one fourth, well half of times one fourth. So if you were to imagine taking each one of these and cutting them into two, that's what half is, right? And so you can probably figure out that we are going to have eight pieces now. So half of a fourth is an eighth. Okay, remember of usually means times half of one fourth equals one eighth. Okay, so our general rule here is when we are multiplying fractions, I'm gonna move these off now, we are simply going to multiply the numerators and the denominators, right? So if you look at this one here, one times one equals one, two times four equals eight. But the same thing could apply if I do one half times, um, let's do, two fourths, right? So imagine now that I have two of these fourths and I want one half of that. Well, I can multiply across the top. Of course, if you do it visually like this, you probably know already it's, it's one, one fourth, right? But I could multiply across the top one times two, that's two, and multiply the denominators as well. Two times four is eight. And now you're saying, well, Mr. Nelson, that's not one fourth, but yes, it is, remember we need to simplify, right? Two eighths, we can divide both of these by two, a common factor, and we simplify it down to one fourth, right? So they are in fact equal. So let's look at a couple more examples. Now that you get the concept, hopefully, you can use this rule for multiplying any fractions. So three eighths, times six fourths. Even if it's an improper fraction, it still works. Multiply across the top. Three times six is 18. Multiply the denominators. Eight times four is 32. And of course we would wanna simplify this. Ooh, it got super bright, didn't it? Let's see, how do I fix that? Not that way. <laughs> Maybe over here. There we go. Hopefully that didn't ruin the whole video. Um, 18 over 32, right? So we just need to simplify that. We can divide them both by, we can divide them both by two. We would get nine sixteenths. Okay. Um, I'm gonna give you one example to try on your own. Well, now it's looking dark. changing sunlight, isn't it? Okay, so remember, multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom. Three-fifths times three 
fourths. Okay, I want you to pause now and try to solve this on your own. All right, you should have done three times three is nine and five times four is 20, nine twentieths. Remember your last step is always try to see if you can simplify. In this case, we can't, it's already simplified. Um, one more thing to point out. Sometimes you're gonna see something like this, three fourths times five, for example. Now you're gonna go, wait, Mr. Nelson, this isn't a fraction. Well, you can write any whole number as a fraction. Remember, a fraction is just division, so we need to divide the number five by something that will make it stay the same, and we can divide it by one, okay? So five over one is the same as five. So you can still do the same thing. You multiply numerators, three times five is 15. You multiply denominators, four times one is four. So 15 fourths would be our answer, or we could um, change this back to a mixed number. If we did that, we would get three and three fourths, uh, because that four times three is 12, plus three more gives us the 15. All right, that is the end of the lesson. Easy, right? You can do it.